What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the video. It is 10 14 a.m. right now, and that means that we have succeeded. We have succeeded where we almost always fail. We made it to Chick fil A before they stopped serving breakfast. Thank you so much. We have the package. We got a couple hash browns, a bunch of their jalapeno salsa, chocolate chip cookie, and a burrito. This Chick-fil-A sausage breakfast burrito, I, I don't I don't have words. If you live near a Chick-fil-A, you need to go try this. So I wanna tell you a story about one of my biggest failures in life. And this is something that happened my last year of college when I was starting to apply to different jobs. So one of the jobs that I got accepted to the interview process for was this prestigious job at Fidelity, one of the biggest financial firms in the country. And basically if I got the job, it was gonna put me on a fast track to getting a leadership position in their tech branch, which basically meant I was gonna make a shit ton of money. And as far as I was concerned back then, I was gonna be set for life. So I showed up for the interview. It was at this enormous building in downtown Boston. They took me and the other job candidates on this top secret tour of the different technologies they were developing. And then the interview started. And you gotta realize that we each got interviewed by four different people. So we were there for like five or six hours. And my first three interviews went amazing. I was feeling confident. Every question they were asking me, I was knocking it out of the park. But then that's when the last interview started. So my last interviewer was this hardcore software programmer and when he realized on my resume that I was studying economics in college, he clearly didn't like me and he started asking me all these ridiculous questions like, if the economy crashed tomorrow and President Obama called you, what would you tell him to do? So I, I answered it the best I could, but then he just kept asking, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And to make a long story short, I ended up not getting the job and they told me the reason I didn't get it was because of that last interview. So I was furious. I was like, fuck that fucking guy. Those questions weren't even about the job. It's not fair. And you gotta realize that back then I did not know how to deal with failure. So I was crushed. I was afraid to interview again. And I thought I was never gonna bounce back. I come and go like a rah, rah, rah. They don't want the two be going on. You get to choose. You can have the big one or the little one. I have the most indecisive dog. He chose the little one. Bro, we got to talk about making these gains. So because we're talking about failures, I got to tell you, every time I see a guy who's not wearing a belt and you can see his butt crack or his pants are sagging down, that's a failure in my book. And that's why I decided to partner with Ansem Belts to be the sponsor of today's video. Not only do their belts look sleek and masculine, but they feature this special micro adjust technology. So if you can see the outside of this belt doesn't have any holes on it. And that's because the inside has these secret hidden ridges. And what these do is when you put the belt on and it slides into place, these actually you hear that? It clicks into place at the perfect size for your waist. And if you're someone like me who's constantly gaining weight and trying to build muscle or losing weight and trying to get shredded, then this is a game changer because this belt fits me perfectly all year round no matter what. Plus their belt buckles actually detach from the straps like this so you can mix and match different combinations. And right now they're running a special where you can get a box like this that contains either three buckles and two straps or two straps and three buckles for less than $100. That's gonna be enough different belts to easily dress up or dress down no matter what type of event you're headed to. Plus right now they're offering free shipping. So if you wanna pick up a set of belts, just click that first link in description. Let's make these games. I swear, bro, everybody in downtown Austin probably knows me as the crazy man on the little red bike because I'm always like shouting things at the camera or I got the drone flying next to me or something. 
Nothing like a fully crowded gym, Monday afternoon, 4.27 p.m. Literally everybody and their mama's here. We're benching today, 265. Last week, we only got four reps on this. Today, we're going for five, and I'm feeling pretty good. We got all five reps. That's the new PR. My butt came off the bench a little bit on that last rep, so I'm gonna do it again next week until we clean that up. I really want to get a little bit more growth in my shoulders and arms, so starting today I'm increasing the volume. In the past I've been doing three sets per exercise, but starting today, four sets per exercise. Alright, so check it out, man. At this point in my life, I've failed more times than I can remember. I've been turned down by countless girls. I've released countless products that have bombed and not sold anything. I invested a bunch of money into Bitcoin when it was at its peak two years ago, and I lost a shit ton of money. And the most important lesson I've learned from this is not just to keep going no matter what and to be persistent. I've actually learned how to use these different failures as fuel to grow stronger and more confident every time. All right, so the first rule of failure is that it's gonna be painful and it's gonna hurt every single time. So you have to give yourself a few hours or a few days to be with those bad emotions and to let them pass through you. But eventually, you have to catch yourself and you have to ask yourself this very important question. What can I do differently next time I'm in a similar situation to get a better result? I'm gonna repeat that again, bro. What can I do differently next time I'm in a similar situation to get a better result? So maybe you're hanging out with this girl that you really like and then all of a sudden she started taking longer to reply to your messages and she started making excuses for why she couldn't hang out and it drove you crazy. So you started sending her more and more messages and you got kind of jealous and then before you know it, she just ghosted you and stopped replying altogether. What can you do differently next time? Maybe you can make a rule for yourself that when you notice a girl taking longer to reply to your messages, you stop texting her for the next three days, no matter fucking what, because you don't even want to take a chance that you're coming across as needy. Or for me, sometimes I release a YouTube video that bombs and gets way less views than average, and it fucking hurts because I put so much time and effort into every single video. But again, I have to catch myself and I have to ask, what can I do differently next time? Maybe I tried a new topic and I sh just shouldn't make any more videos about that. Maybe it was a good topic, but I tried something new with a thumbnail that didn't work out and I can't do that again. The point here, bro, is that if you're always taking a lesson from your failure, then you always know that next time you're in that same situation, you're gonna be more confident, you're gonna perform better, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to move on. When I was young, I used to dream about the palm trees. After the summer achievements, I got a long sleep. Supposedly, think about it. In reality, you running out of options. Starting to see the coffin with the Bible free. I'm way ahead on the Look at this masterpiece. Spicy chicken sausage, broccoli, jalapeno, serrano peppers, bacon. Where are my pizza, baby? And there's no pineapple. We're having this debate, or this debacle, about pineapple on your pizza. No, this has already it, been solved. No, 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 Last give time. it a thumbs up if you think pineapple should always be on pizza. No, give it a thumbs up if you think pineapple should never be on pizza. I tried it last time, one of the biggest failures of my life. Check it out, I also got this cinnamon strip bread and it looks delicious. You know it's a good meal when nobody has spoken a word since the first bite. Like I got I got some good company with me tonight, but this food's even better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I really encourage you to steal that technique I told you about and next time you're dealing with a failure or rejection, ask yourself, what can I do differently next time? 
Because if you do this consistently, like you're gonna become unstoppable and success is gonna be, it's gonna be inevitable for you. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you, bro. Give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I release new videos. When do I release them? Every Monday and Thursday. You don't wanna miss them. I will talk to you in the next video. Thumbs up for pineapple. Stay beastly. Let's <laughs> go.